Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Bible here. It is time for Jolly Fun number 26. And today we're going to be reviewing those pesky silent E spellings. Some people refer to them as magic E. Some people refer to them as hop over E. But hopefully after today, you'll feel more confident when reading or writing words that have that E on the end that change the middle vowel to its long sound where it says its name. Let's do a couple of butterfly breaths before we start. Here we go. Hands on your shoulders. Ready? Breathe in. Breathe out. <sighs> Breathe in. Breathe out. <sighs> Breathe in. Breathe out. Now that our bodies are calm, our brains are ready to learn. I think you might remember some of the spellings we see on our page here. Remember A, hop over E, or A, silent E, or A, magic E, is the sound A. And we learned how to spell it a couple of different ways. We learned A, I, and we learned a, Y, and some of those first graders might even know a third way. When we go to E, do you remember we learned spellings that look like this? Sometimes we just have the E, E together with no consonant in the middle, and sometimes we have a Y at the end of a word like baby or funny. For our I sound. We also learn to spell that a couple of different ways. One of the ways is where I and E are side by side. Another way is that crazy Y at the end of little short words like try and by and my. For our O sound, we also learn to spell it O. A. And then with our U sound, we also learn to spell it with U and E side by side. So today, even though we have all these other spellings floating around in our head, we're going to concentrate on the silent E or hop over E or magic E, whatever you call it at your school. And here's the game we're going to play. I'm going to write a word that has a short vowel. We're going to read that word. And then when I add that magic E on the end, it's going to change the word. Do you remember how it's going to change the word? It's going to make that middle magic vowel long. Or another way to say that is the middle magic vowel will say its name or we will read the name of that vowel. You'll know more what I'm talking about once we jump into the game. Right now I'm going to change my pen color and we're going to start our game. Are you ready? Do you think I can trick you today? Or are you really ready and got your sound, Jolly Phonics sound brain on? We're going to start with our first sound here of A. A, remember? A. All right, I'm going to write a word though, and it's going to be with the short vowel sound, A. So let's start with this word. Ready? See if you can read it. K. A. P. What's the word? Cap. Cap. But when I add that silent E, remember it changes the sound of A to A. So my word isn't cap. Now my word is cape. Cape. All right. You think you're ready to do another one? Let's try another one. Let me see if I can find one from my word list here. Oh, here's a word you may know. Try this one. Mmm. Eh. Nap. Nap. 
Now if I add the E, nap changes into nape. Do you know what a nape is? The nape is actually your neck. It's that long, thin part of your neck. The nape of your neck. It's the back part of your neck there. All right, let's see if I have another add to A word. I'm looking at my list. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, all right. Here's one. G. O. A. D. Glad. How am I going to read it, boys and girls, if I add my E on the end? It's not glad anymore. Can you read it? It's glade. Glade. Glade might be something your mom uses to clean the furniture or uh, to make a room smell nice. They, glade is a company that makes lots of things like that. But a glade is also um, has another meaning. A glade is an opening in a forest, like where there's a little field or a little clearing. That's called a glade. All right, boys and girls, I reset the page, and I realized I need to move myself to get out of the way of our U sound. Now we're moving to our long E sound, our E sound. But we're not going to be able to do our flipping game between short and long vowels because there just aren't that many words that have E, hop over E. So we're going to just read some of these words. Ready? Here's the first one. Eve. Eve. Here's the next one. Theme. Theme. Here's the next one. These. These. And here's one more, the man or boy's name, Steve, Steve. Now, if I go back up to the word theme, you might be wondering, well, what is that? The theme of a story is what is the story mostly about? What is the message that the author is trying to teach us or um, wanting us to explore? That's the theme. All right. Now, I did notice if we take the word theme and we get rid of that magic E, what word do we have left? Them. We know that word, them. Okay, let's go to the next one. Whoops, sorry, boys and girls. Let's stay with our blue and let's close those up. All right, now... Let's erase our little blue mark here. There we go. And now I am on the I. I sound. But I have a I hop over E or I magic E. So I'm going to start with a short vowel I, I, I word. And we're going to change it into an I, I word. All right. Let's see if I can find one from my list here. Hmm, let's see. Oh, let's see. Let's see. I see a good one. All right, here we go. Can you read this word? It's another one of those words with the CK at the end. What is this word, boys and girls? Can you read it? Pick. Pick. Now, if I take my little eraser... And I get rid of my C, and I'm actually going to move my K over a little closer, which I should have done in bake, but I didn't. I have the word, not pick anymore, but it's the word. Can you read it? It's not pick. It's pike. And a pike uh, is actually something you can do in gymnastics, but it's also the name of a fish. It's a kind of fish, a pike. All right, let's see if I can find another I -I word. Yes, that I, oh, this is such a juicy word to use in your writing. Let's see if you can read it with I, I, I. Ready? What's the word? <coughs> Excuse me, boys and girls. Grip. Grip. A grip is when you have a really tight hold on something. 
But if I add a magic E, grip turns into gripe. And I like that word because it really describes what it is. When you have a gripe or you are griping, you know what that means? That means you're complaining. Yeah, that's a fancy word for complain, okay, or a complaint. All right, let's see if I have another I -I word that I could use. Hmm. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, I know one. You'll know this one. See if you can read the I -I word first. What's that word? Kit. Kit. And if I add magic E, kit changes into kite. How about that? All right. Let's get rid of those words and let's go on to our next sound. Ready? Now I've got my O sound. O. Let's see if we can do some of these. Ready? Here we go. Hmm, let's see. I'm looking for on my list some O words. Oh, let's see. Ah, here's a good one. Not a good thing to do, but a good word for our activity. It's got our ah, 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 ah sound. Can you read it? Rob. But when I add my E, Rob changes into robe like a robe that you wear over your pajamas let's see if i can find another one hmm <laughs> oh let's see let's see here's another one see if you can read this word what's this word pop. But if I add magic E, it becomes the word Pope. That's the man that's in charge of the Catholic Church. Alrighty. And our last O word, we're going to start with ah, with an ah word. This is one of my favorite words, boys and girls. Hop. My really favorite word isn't hop. It's actually when I add my magic E, I change hop into hope. All righty. Mrs. Bible had to hop to the other side so she could work on our U words. All right, we're going to start with ah, 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 and then we're going to change to a U, U, U word. Don't get tricked. Here we go. Can you read this word? K, A, uh, T, cut. Now if I add magic E, cut becomes cute. You are so cute. Let's try another one. How about if I have the word cub, like a baby bear? If I add magic E, cub becomes cube, cube. And then my last one is where you take a bath sometimes in the tub. But if I add magic E, tub turns into tube. Wow, that was a lot of thinking, wasn't it, boys and girls? Now I thought we would end today by singing our vow song to remind us of our long and our short vows. Boys and girls, I thought that we would end today by singing our vow song. And you can see I've added our magic E or silent E spellings to help us. Ready? Here we go. Well 
done. We'll see you next time.